Hey guys, so what I wanted to do was, just for fun, I wanted to go ahead and put each IEM into its category and to go from there. So this box represents neutral warm, this box represents neutral bright, this box repre re represents like true neutral, and then this represents a U or a V-shaped. So yeah, let's get going. So the Swan NV, I would classify this as a V-shaped IEM. So we'll put that there. This is the uh, Tongzu one or two. Uh, this is a V-shaped IEM, so I'll put that there. This is the Theo Audio Legacy 2. I would say this is a neutral bright. This is the Moondrop Blessing 2. I would say, while it's a bit V-shaped with a slant towards the bright side, I would, give, I would definitely say it's a neutral bright. This is the Cadenza, uh, Kiwi Ears Cadenza. I feel like it's a neutral bright. And... Yeah, the neutral bright box gets really full, and I notice there's not as much neutral warms. Um, <clears throat> this is the Sophier Studios 4. I would say this is more of a true neutral. This is the Cell Note Zero. This is a neutral bright. This is the uh, Zigot Lush. This is a neutral warm. This is the uh, Critical Dusk. This is a neutral warm. This is the uh, Crin, Crin Ear Daybreak. Now, while it does seem to map pretty close to the Dusk, because I would say the sibling sections are more pronounced here, I would say that this is closer to V-shaped. So I'm going to put it in the V-shaped box. This is the RDT-10. Hmm. I actually don't know where this goes, because it's not, it's definitely not true neutral, and I wouldn't call it a v I mean, <laughs> although people are saying it, put it in the V-shaped box, I don't think it's a V-shaped box, because the sibling sections are so drop down but if it had to fit in a category it would probably go in the v-shaped box so i'll put it in the v-shaped box this is the moon drop chew 2 this is a neutral bright this is the tongzu Warner studio edition not to be confused with the original um and not to be confused with the version 2 i actually would say this is closer to true neutral this is the um 7 Hertz Sonus. This is a neutral bright. This is the In Awaken. This is a neutral bright. This is the Truthier Hexa. This is a true, a true neutral. It does not belong in there. Uh, although it depends on what tips you use. <laughs> this is the Sennheiser IE200. So similar problem, I, I would say, to the RD T10, where I actually feel the sibilant sections are actually dipped down, so this is actually probably closer to like a W shape rather than a V shape. But uh, that being said, I would probably put this in a V shaped box. Oops. This is the um, the JVC whatever FDX one. So with all the padding on it, basically in terms of the filters, it maps pretty close to the tantrum origin. So I'm going to say it's a neutral bright. This is the um, Dunu Titan S. This is neutral. Like, it's like neutral with a little bit of, but it's pretty much, it doesn't belong in this box. This is the uh, Athel Performer 8. I would say it's neutral warm, but if I'm wrong, let me know. This one I don't know, but I feel like it's neutral warm. This is the um, Truthier Gate. This is more true neutral. So it belongs in this box, not that box, because this is not bright, bright. This is like basically more neutral. This is the Theo, I mean, this is the Theo Audio Hype 4. This is uh, more towards V-shape. This is the um, Moondrop Land Reference 2. This is neutral bright. This is the um, Kiwi Cadenza 4. Now, I would say uh, it's... I'm going to say it's kind of closer to V-shaped. Uh, it's a mild U-shape, but closer to V-shaped is where I would put it. This is the uh, Key Fine Clean. Man, I don't actually, I actually didn't know where to put this because it's not like neutral, but then it's it's not like a neutral bright either. And it's not V-shaped. So I would say it's closer to... the. It's like more neutral warm. I would say, because I feel like the brightness section is pretty dulled down on this. It's not neutral. This is not neutral bright. And this is not neutral. And it's not V-shaped, really. It's it just, it, it's almost like it's a neutral with a base boost. You know what I mean? So maybe it's a neutral warm. But I don't know. This is this one, I don't know where it goes. But I put it in neutral warm. Um, 
this is the Theo Audio. Oh no, this is the um, something something Galaxy. Um, so this is true neutral. This is the Tantrum Origin. While it is a V-shaped with a little bit of a bright slant, I would say I would still put it in the neutral bright box. This is the Truthier Pure. Truthier Pure is neutral warm. This is the um, Tantrum Bunny. So this is a neutral bright. Okay, I've got a few others here that I'm not going to put in the box because it's on, on its own. But So this is the Audio-Technica ATH-40. Uh, this is a neutral... I mean, this is a V-shaped. It would, it, it would belong in this box. This is the um, Westone Mach 60s. No, this is the uh, Biodynamic DT-70 IE. I would say this is a closer to V-shape, but it's kind of... I think this is... They're trying to copy the meta because actually as I listen to it, it's kind of copying that meta format. This is the Shure SE846. I would say this is actually closer to V-shaped. Um, I feel like this was the meta before meta happened because this does feel like speakers on your desk. It doesn't feel like typical Edemotic ER2XR. So it would be belong in this box. This is the Edemotic ER4XR. Also, you could put the Edemotic 2XR. I, I feel like that would go in the true neutral box right here. And then this is the uh, Weston Mach 60s. Did I go over that? I don't know if I did. Uh, I would say these are probably mild U-shaped. So it would go along in this box. Um, so yeah, that's basically a quick rundown. Oh, sorry. The last one is the Pandemon 2.0. I actually don't know where this goes. This is actually a category... Because it's not... It's not neutral... It's not neutral... Uh, you know, I don't know what the hell this is. But it's a very pleasant sound to it. <laughs> but it's it's... That's why I keep saying I don't know where this goes. And it's one of my favorite IEMs. Um, but I don't know where the heck it goes. It's a very unique sound to it. Um, it, cause it's not, it's definitely not neutral bright and might actually be closer neutral warm, but I don't know, or it might be a U shape, but it's a very sleepy chill sound. You know, it's very, it's one of those things where you, when you listen to it, you're like, eh, but then as it grows on you and the size of it is it, the comfort trumps all <laughs> it's so comfortable. So that's all I can say. Okay. Bye.